y'all? It's your girl Kayla Janae, and we are back with another video, y'all. Freaking story time. I feel like I've been doing story time since freshman year, and I'm about to be a junior, y'all. So it's only right I give y'all the infamous story time of what happened in Miami. I know I put in my vlog what happened in Miami stays in Miami, but this gotta get told because I'm gonna let y'all know who and not to go to Miami with, okay? Because I went with seven girls, came back with one friend. And I've been holding on to this story time because I was like on the debate if I don't know if I wanna post it, not post it, talk about it, don't talk about it. I don't really know. But I feel like it, it needs to be talked about, it needs to be said because. They just got away with so much. They basically got away with murder. Like, they got away with so much that my story needs to be told. Me and my girl Jocelyn, our story needs to be told. Thank you guys so much for 5,500 um, 5, subscribers on here. Because that's the reason why I'm doing a story time anyway. I was like, I gotta give them something juicy and something special since they got me to this many subscribers. So yes, y'all, that's what we're doing today. I'm about to be giving y'all this story time. And we just gonna jump right into it. I'm talking too much for my own good. So, okay, let me give y'all a little backstory. So, like, I wanna say maybe going on two years, maybe like a year and a half, uh, me and my mom, we were looking for houses in Florida and we just so happened to be at this hotel that this other girl was at. And my mom and her, well, we met her mom first. And her mom was really nice, really cool. And we just met her in the lobby and my mom and her mom just started talking because mind you, that's the type of people me and my mom are. But we can like naturally, you know, talk to them or whatever. So we saw this lady in the hallway and um, I forgot why we even stopped her. But it was a nice hotel, we saw Snoop Dogg and all, but that's beside the point. So yeah, we stopped her or whatever and she was like, I think we was asking for like input on the hotel or something like that. And so my mom and her mom got to talking and then we found out she has a daughter my age, well, a year younger than me. So she was like, yeah, my daughter's gonna be here later, da da da. So me and the girl meet up, we go out that same night. Like we're friends at this point. Like that's my homegirl right now because this is the first time I'm in Tampa. Gonna mind y'all, we haven't just moved to Tampa. Well, well, we were looking for houses in the area, but we were still staying at Airbnbs and throughout the summer, so. Yeah, I was like, this is my homegirl in Tampa. Like, I got a friend, my first friend in Tampa. Yeah, so me and the girl, we hit it off. We went out that same night, like I said, and we was cool. So then I met her again, well, saw her again for her graduation party. I was down there at the same time, so I went to her graduation party. And mind y'all, these are the only two times we've been together. So that alone should have told me, like, girl, don't go to Miami with her. You just met her. But no. My old dumb naive self went to Miami with this girl and her friends. But we're gonna get into that. So yeah, I'm thinking me and a girl cool. So we was like, um, at the graduation party, we was like, okay, y'all, we should plan like a trip to Miami for spring break. And so, you know, everybody was down, you know, everybody was cool. Like her friends were cool. Like I met her friends at the graduation party, they were cool. And, you know, it was that. So so I thought. So yeah, I met her friends there, and yeah, we was planning the playing a Miami trip, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna invite one of my homegirls, and it's just gonna be us two, and then we'll meet y'all down there, or, you know, we'll do it however. So, yeah, so we ended up playing the trip. I tell my homegirl, Jocelyn, about it. She's down, you know. We all in a group chat. I make a group chat. We all in a group chat together in cahoots, planning the trip. And y'all, this should have been the first red flag. I'm sorry, I can't hear the AC. But this should have been the first red flag. In the midst of us planning the trip and, you know, getting the money together. You know how black folks act when y'all plan a trip in the money situation? So, one of her friends and my job, they, like, I should have known it was going to go bad because they would talk about each other. Like, the friends would talk about each other. And one group chat, they would have two separate group chats. One group chat, one friend would talk about this friend. No, so they would talk about each other. So, um, one of the girls, we was offering our money to Jocelyn because Jocelyn was getting the B&B &B for us. So we all sent our money. Like everybody in the group chat sent their money besides these two girls. And one of the girls is really good friends with the girl that I had met. Well, so she claims. But yeah, she didn't send the money. Or she faked like she sent the money and she accidentally sent us the wrong cash app. Mind you, my friend's cash app is her name. You have her number saved as her name. So how do you get her number like misconstrued in the cash app if it's her name? 
So, um, she ends up saying, um, y'all, I sent it to the wrong cash app, yada, yada, yada. I don't know if I'm gonna get my money back. And da, 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 da. then her phone mysteriously stops. She stops answering her phone when it dies. And she has her homegirl. Um, I'm going to just give you some code names. She has her homegirl. Actually, that's the code names. Ari. She has her homegirl, Ari, send the um, send us a text saying, yeah, she um, something happened with her phone. It's frozen. Da, da, da. I said her freaking cash out was her name. So there's no way you could get that mis like, misled. There's no way you could get so we all like, everybody else took the money, What like, what's up with you? So at that point we knew like, okay, this girl playing this. Like, first of all, you're supposed to be sending the money for you and your friend. So now we're short on, I think it was like 150. I, I forgot how much the amount was, but we're short on whatever the amount was because, no, it couldn't have been 150 because it was 78 each y'all, only $78. So if you don't have $78 to pay for the B&B, how you gonna be in Miami? Like, that just don't add up. It don't add up at all, because y'all know Miami gets expensive. They ended up sending the money like two days later. So if you didn't have the money, you just could have said that and we would have waited to book. But yeah, that was the first red flag. So moving forward, we get down there, y'all. Mind y'all, I'm driving. I drove first. Well, me, it's me and Jocelyn driving. We were the only ones driving. I drove first, because my mom's car, so you know, I'm gonna drive first or whatever. And um, the two girls in the back didn't have to drive at all. Okay, out of respect for her and her mom, I'm gonna give her a code name and her a code name only. So we're gonna call her JC. JC and Janelle, yeah, JC and Janelle, they didn't have to drive at all. So I'm just like, like the least y'all, y'all, I'll get to that. So yeah, they didn't have to drive at all. So we, um, me and Jocelyn drove the whole way and I don't think one of the girls didn't even have her license. So there was no way she could drive. And then JC, she can't freaking drive. So it, we had no choice. <laughs> So we get down to Miami or whatever, and it's the first night. And so I have a bottle because we got a bottle before we came down there. And so I'm like, okay, y'all, we can take shots, da, 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 you know, just, you know, to ease up the night. I went on the strip earlier, but we had came home because it was a party, but it was one time on the thing. It was about like $70 to get in, so we came home. And it was like 12 o'clock at this point. So my job. My my man is on the way. Like he's coming from Atlanta and he's about to be in Miami. And the liquor store is closed down. For some reason, the liquor store is closed hella early down there and he couldn't get no bottles. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna save the rest for my man so we can have a bottle when I get there. Cause I'm going to see him tonight. So mind y'all, I'm past we passed Joshua. Joshua do a corner shot. She's passing out big shots to the girls. Big shots to the girls. And it's just us three in there. Because one of the girls had left to go with her man. JC had left to go see her man. So we passing out big shots between me, Janelle, and Joshua. We all have big shots, like five shots, y'all. So y'all know a bottle, the bottle's about this big, and we all getting five shots each. So the bottle is like getting lower and lower. And so I'm like, okay, I wanna save this for my man when I go see him or whatever. And she's just not understanding. Like she's like, can I have one? At this one, she's drunk, y'all. She's like, can I have one more? One more, I just want some more. I just want some more. I'm like, no, like I'm saving it. So that was the first red flag, y'all, because one, you did not put in on this bottle, for one. Number two, if I just told you what I'm doing with this bottle, let me do what I'm doing with this bottle, and you sit back and relax, because you're already drunk. And mind you, she was going to go be with somebody, be with her, with some person she met off the strip anyway, so he could get you a bottle, or he could buy you some liquor, he could do something, I don't know what to tell you. So I wasn't tripping, because I'm like, this is, you know, different or whatever, but it's the principle, like, if I'm telling you what I'm about to do with this bottle, don't be hagging me for the bottle and I just gave you a whole bunch of shots. So that was strike number one, y'all. So strike number two, next day we had all went to Juicy Crab or some seafood spot in Miami, but it was on the north side of Miami. If you know Miami, it's South Miami Beach or North Miami Beach. So we were in South Miami Beach, literally 11 minutes from the beach. We had to drive, take an Uber all the way to freaking North Miami Beach just because they wanted seafood. Mind y'all, I love seafood, but me and Joshua had just gotten seafood the, like the day before we came. So it wasn't no big deal for us to get some seafood. We was gonna go just for them. So we get all the way to the seafood place, y'all, and they talking about they're finna go to a party. And they're not saying, do y'all wanna come to the party with us? They're not saying da da da. They're just like, oh, we about to go to a party. So I'm like, 
Okay, so y'all are leaving us here to fend for ourselves and find us a ride back when we could have just been at the beach the whole time. And y'all on the side that y'all want to be on for the party. So all y'all had to say in the beginning was, we're going to go get seafood and go to this party. Do y'all want to come or do y'all want to stay on this side of town and go to the beach? That would have been more sufficient. That would have been more like, you know, giving us a heads up. Because now we got to pay $50 to go back to South Miami Beach. When y'all, we wanted to be on that side of town anyway. Because we were there for the strip and, you know, stuff like that. We didn't want to go to no parties. And Winston, we have parties. Mind you, I'm going to insert the clip when it gets real weird. I don't know if it's a party. The one that I sent up, I don't know if party is in this part of it. And I'm trying to like, uh, I don't think I'm going to stop this. No, Bob. You want to go, B? Yeah, I'm not going to party. Let's see. Just make sure we go for the same page. Because it's in the vlog. So I'm going to put that in there. But yeah, they just told us at the woodwork. It's like, yeah, we're going to go to a party. Da, da, da. So I'm like, okay, well, I don't want to go to no party. So I guess we're just going to have to go back. And so, me and Joshua went to the bathroom, cause you know to get ready to go back and be. I meant to go back in the Uber to go back to the other side of town. And me and Joshua both like, okay, yeah, that was weird. So I wasn't the only one. I, we was like, yeah, that's weird because we could have just stayed on our side of town had we known y'all was gonna go to a party without us. Like y'all didn't invite us. Y'all didn't say, hey, do y'all want to come? Nothing. Y'all just said we're going to a party. So we thought that was weird. And mind y'all, they're going with girls that didn't even want to be with them. The girls that go on Yana, whoever Yana friends was, da da da. Yana wasn't really supposed to stay with us, but she ended up staying with other girls. She told us why later on, but I'll get into that. It was a fake excuse. But I'm like, the girls didn't even want to be with y'all. Like, they literally said, I guess you can come, da da da. So you leaving us to go be with them. The people that drove you down here that you ain't have to put in, like, you put in gas, but you ain't have to put in no foot pedals to um, get down here, you're leaving us to go with them. So it's like, okay, that's, you know, that's cool. We brushed it off. We went back to the beach. We had to pay $50 to get back, but it was cool. It was Friday. Mind y'all, we got there Thursday. So yeah, that was Friday when we went to go get seafood, da da da. Then we went to the strip, met up with my my man and his friends and da da. We had a good old time. Like, we had a great time, y'all. So it was just like, that's what we wanted. That's what we came to Miami for. We came to Miami for the strip and you know, so forth. We could do parties in Winston. Like we go to a party every weekend in Winston. So I guess because they're younger than us and they're just not experiencing the parties, that's what they wanted to do. And that's cool, but don't leave us out of the loop is what I was saying. So yeah, me and Josh and we get to the strip, everything's fine. Then the next day, another red flag happened. So we're, um, we're getting dressed and mind y'all, we wanna go back to the strip because that's what we're here for. And I don't know what they're doing because JC had left to go see her man that same, the night before again. And she didn't come back the next day to like 3, 4 p.m. And we want to be outside. Like we're not wasting our time because you're not back yet. So we was like, okay, y'all left us yesterday. We leaving y'all today. And we left and we went back on the strip because it was like, y'all, like I'm not wasting my time out here. We only here for like three to four days. I'm not wasting my time. So we went back out, got breakfast. Mind you, we was hungry, we was starving. And, um, you know, she stayed back, wait, waited for JC. So, yeah, that was fine. We left, like, we went our separate ways at that point. And it was no beef or nothing. We just was like, we're not waiting because y'all left us. So, it was only right. So, um, so yeah, we get to the strip or whatever later this night. And so, we get wine. I don't know if this was Friday or Saturday. Yeah, this was, okay, this was Friday night. So, we got the wine Friday night after we was, we was, we was lit. We was lit on the strip, y'all. And we got some wine. And so then we took it back to the, well, we took it to my man house first and then we took it back to the B&B. And so my bottle was unopened. So when we left, Janelle, Janelle was like, can I have some that are pointing at Joshua's bottle? Mine, we, we both got bottles of wine. She knew what flavor was mine, she knew what flavor was hers. So I guess she didn't like Joshua's flavor and she picked up my bottle of wine and drank it y'all. Like the, it was halfway gone. By the time I got back to it, it was halfway gone. So my whole thing was, if you want some, if you want some of somebody's stuff, and they told you, yeah, you can have mine, da da. Why is you going to get mine? Because you don't like the flavor they picked. You knew I had one. You knew she had one. It might be petty to y'all, but it wasn't petty to me. Mind y'all, I didn't really say too much. I'm, hey, that one was that's mine. Like she, mind y'all, no, 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 no. 
I, I skipped the part. She posted the bottle talking about some last day here, y'all. As if it was her bottle. If it, if it she bought the wine. Elijah, it's just wine. But it's the principle. Don't be on the ground flexing like you bought this and last day here, pop a bottle like you just doing some big shit. No, that's mine. Put it down. So, yeah, she posted the bottle. She's like, last day here. My drama, her close friend. So I was like, um, that's mine. Um, you, you picked up the wrong bottle. And she was like, oh, Jocelyn, she just told me I could have it. Da -da -da. My bottle is on this side. Jocelyn's bottle on, is on this side. So what you did was you didn't like her flavor of wine, and you picked up mine. So let's, let's, not, let's not lie here. So I was like, okay, that's cool. I was like, okay, that's cool. You know, just don't drink it all, whatever. I get back to the house later that night. The bottle halfway empty. Bottle halfway empty. But we're not going to get into that again. So I brushed that off. We go back to the strip. We with our people. Da, da, da. We having a good old jolly time. Y'all saw it in the vlog. Like, we were having a great time. And y'all barely saw these girls with us because it was just so much, not even weird shit yet, but it was just so much, like, leaving and leaving us and stuff like that. So we was just like, we just going to do our own thing. And it's always been me and Jocelyn. So it was like, it might as well just still be me and Jocelyn. So, yeah. So later that night, me and Jocelyn, we want to stay another day because... Y'all may not know this, but me and my man, we do long distance. So I'm like, this is my time to be my spooky. Like, I want to stay another day. And mind y'all, we was willing to put up money for the hotel, whatever, because our B&B, &B, we only had got that for three days. So we was willing to put up money for the B&B, da 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 I'm at the hotel, whatever. Whatever the case may be, we wanted to stay another day. So we had mentioned the idea to the girls. And at first, they was like, yeah, but how are we, like, how are we going to pay for it? Da -da -da. I was like, me and Joshua, we got it. Like, at this point, I'm blasting. I could, I could, put, I could cover for you, baby. I'm good. So, like, we were willing to cover for it. Da -da. So, they had, they did have concerns about, like, what time we was going to get back and stuff. But I'm like, we got school the next day. We're going to get back hella early. Like, mind y'all, we, we left on a Sunday, I believe. But we were trying to leave that Monday morning. Mind y'all, Tampa's to Miami is only like three hours. So we would have, if we left at 6 a.m., we would have back, been back in time for us to go to back to school, us to go like everything. So we would have been back in time. So, um, mind y'all, because me and Joshua, we didn't have school Tuesday, but they had, they think they had work at like 3 p.m. But mind y'all, it's only a three hour difference. We would have been back in time. So, yeah, so they voiced concerns about that. And we was like, you know, we, we had, we had a backup for everything they were saying. And so, at that point, they was like, okay, yeah, that'll work, da 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 So then we get to the beach later on that night, and I run into them. And mind y'all, I'm, like, kind of, like, drunk. And I'm not, when I'm drunk, I'm not really, really too mindful about who. Why am, no, I'll take that back. I'm mindful about who's around me. But if you was being weird before, I'm like, I don't really, I see you, but hey, girl, like, it's not, it's not, it's not nothing personal, but it's just like, Hey, like, I see you. We we haven't been each, around each other this whole time. Don't come at me. So, um, yeah, so the girls come up to us on the beach, and it was like, so y'all stand for real? Da -da -da. And we was like, yeah, I thought it was, I thought we agreed. I thought it was, like, no problem, whatever. And then she was like, okay, well, no, we can't stay. Da -da -da. I'm just going to find us a ride. So I was like, okay, okay, that's fine. So just let me know how that goes, and, you know, we'll figure it out. So it comes back time for us to go, we go home. Well, actually... We have to go, I'm at my man's house, my man's being me, and we have to go back because they forgot their key to get back in the house. So we have to drive all the way, well, I have to get an Uber back, mind you, they didn't, they didn't pay for this Uber, but we had to get an Uber all the way back just because they forgot their key. And then we have to go back to my man's house. So we get there and we all in the group chat arguing because they feel like we're being inconsiderate about how, um, we're, we want to stay another night, and they was like, I hope y'all don't expect us to stay at your man's B&B. Baby girl, we just told you we was going to put a, put us all in a hotel. Why would I expect you to be with, you know, my man and his friends, and you don't even know them? You have not had any encounters with them. You don't know them at all. So, it was just like, now now that you can't find a ride, or now that you, you find out you don't want to stay another night, for real, for real, because I, I honestly think... I, I think her and her friends got into it or something because literally they, we were all on the same court. So, um, yeah, so she's like, um, yeah, we, we don't have a ride that I saw. I feel like we should just stick to the plan and leave tomorrow. 
And I'm like, okay, that's, you know, that's fine. We didn't, we didn't push it any further, y'all. We literally said, okay, if you don't have a ride and you have to leave tomorrow, we will go tomorrow. Like, it's not a big deal. I'll just see him when I see him. It's not a big deal. So, we have much to decide. So, I guess they get their homegirl. The homegirl that hasn't been with them on this trip at all, that hasn't wanted to be with them on this trip at all, I guess they get her to come to their defense. And they like, um... So y'all really gonna leave town without them? Da da da. Mind y'all, we had already told the girls we'll stay. So she like, y'all just gonna leave town without them? Mind y'all, she's in a car by herself. Worst case scenario, she could take them back to Tampa. We all live in Tampa right now. She could take them back. So I don't know why it was such a big deal for us. But worst case scenario, if we were to stay and you didn't have no ride, that's your ride. But we had already agreed. Like, just gonna leave the next day. Her homegirl is like, yeah, y'all leaving my friends, da da da. Mind y'all, you literally said, I guess you can come to this girl, your homegirl. At this point, we're all our friends, the chat, da da da. So then, and one of the girls, oh, JC, one of the girls, you know, my homegirl, so I thought, she comes and she, um, she's like, okay, we'll be at the house shortly. So I'm like, okay, cool. Mind y'all, I'm sleeping on my line, I'm getting, you know, tipsy, whatever. So I'm already in that mode. So they come to the house. And they come on defense mode. I'm like, okay, this is what we're doing. Coming to the house, Yana comes in first, loud, yelling, da da da. She's like, y'all really gonna leave my homegirl, da da da. And we're like, no, we have, like, it's us three in a chat because she's not staying with us. So, us, well, us four, we have already come to agreement. Like I said, we're just gonna stay. So, I don't know why it was such a big deal. I guess when they were in the car, they were feeding her something else, you know, telling her something else. But yeah, we had already agreed. So, me and Yana, we're going back and forth. And I'm like, why is this still a topic? Like, we had already came to it. Like, it don't even involve you at this point because we had already came to an agreement that we were gonna stay and you're not even staying with us. Mind y'all, she paid for the B&B &B and all. She's not staying with us. Me and y'all know we're going back and forth about to fight y'all. Like, literally, she said something to me, I said something to her, I stood up, walked over to her. And the girls kind of held us back. My God, Joshua, she's in the back looking for her Pandora bracelet. We honestly think one of the girls stole it, but we ain't even gonna get into that. But yeah, she's crying looking for her Pandora bracelet. Her and her boyfriend going through it, like Joshua's going through it. But if at the end of the day, if something was to pop off, she would be right there. But the girls, they were just doing so much this, that, and like nothing was gonna happen for real. But it was just the principle. Don't come in here like you just been here. You just been with us, da, da, da acting like you run stuff and questioning me about something that you don't have no business questioning me on. And I feel like as as JC, if you're my homegirl, you shouldn't be having your homegirls trying to do all that to me. So that was a big red flag for me. I was like, I'm cool off you after that. So yeah, so me and you're gonna be going back and forth and I'm just like, this has nothing to do with you, da da da. She's like, it has everything to do with me because these are my friends, da da da. I'm like, girl, so then, I didn't know this, y'all, but me, because I was, I was literally doing wine back. So, I didn't know this, but I guess the girl that, the girl that I'm taking home the next day, she had the, what's the, what's the words called? Cajutas, cajul, whatever the word is for balls in Spanish. She had those, and she was like, um, she was tying her hair up, ready to fight, da, da, da. I didn't know this. I, Joshua had to tell me the next day. So she, yeah, she had her hair up, ready to fight, da da da. You know, saying, you're not gonna talk to me like this, da da da. I'm like, I didn't hear none of that, y'all. It went in one ear and out the other. By the time me and Yana had gotten her arguing, I didn't, arguing, I didn't hear nothing Janelle was saying. So, I, cause I had walked over to Joshua and I'm just, I'm just, I'm not hearing nothing this girl is saying. Like, it's going in one ear and out the other. So then, I forgot what happened. They either, I don't know who left first who left after but we was like we're not gonna find this airbnb we can take it outside and so because my job it was on joshua's account or we don't want nothing to happen to joshua's account so we didn't end up fighting or whatever but we was we, it was it was about to it was definitely about to get there because my whole thing was if we had already you know squashed it why are you coming in here trying to bring it back up trying to roll it up again and the two girls that Staying in the B&B are not even saying anything. It's just you, and you haven't even been here. And when we brought that up to her, she was like, I don't wanna stay here because of this. This is why. Mind y'all, everything had been good. Before. Like, we had little hiccups, not even really hiccups. It was just little weird stuff they was doing, but it wasn't nothing major until this. 
So my whole thing was, what do you mean you didn't want to stay here because of this? We was we was all cool in the group chat. You planned to be here with us. So what do you mean you didn't want to stay here because of this? And mind y'all, she's staying with her other friends. Like I said, worst case scenario, the two girls could stay with the other friends. Like they were making a big deal out of nothing. For us to go, we, you know, said our goodbyes or whatever. And so we had to drive back to our B&B because we had, to, we had an early checkout. So we get back to our B&B and we're loud. We coming there, we coming there. Y'all don't get on sleep because of y'all. Y'all ain't gonna get on sleep because of me. Like we're loud, we, we didn't want to leave. So get up, y'all didn't want us to stay. So get up, it's time to go. So we come in packing our stuff up, whatever. And so, um, yeah, we pack our stuff up. We get on the road, my job. Me and Josh, we talking all the time. We're not talking to these two in the back. Like, my job, they're not driving. They're not doing anything. They're just, they're getting a free ride basically. To the, to the, to the, back to Tampa. So, um, so yeah, we, um, only time we text the family for gas, we text them the chat, seven dollars for gas, da, da, da. So, we get back to the, we get back to Tampa. Mind y'all, originally, I had to pick them up. I had to pick both girls up from each of their houses to come with us. Like, and I wasn't doing that. So, we had just met her mom in one spot. It was still far because by the time I got to the spot, I had to drive a whole hour to my house. So it was just like, we were being so considerate of them this whole freaking time that the one time we asked y'all to be considerate of us or, you know, my situation, it was a whole issue. So, um, so yeah, we get back to my house or whatever. And then we walk in the door and tell my mom the story. And so as we're telling my mom everything that's going on, Joshua mentions that Janelle was trying to fight or whatever. So I'm like, huh? I, I really don't, I don't remember that. Like, I literally, I did not remember that y'all at all. So I'm like, wait, huh? So then I text the girl and I'm like, you, you started putting your hair up trying to fight? And so she was like, yeah. And so I was like, okay, so what you trying to do now? Because now that I'm aware, what are you trying to do now? So I guess she texts her friends, Yana again. And Yana comes in the chat and she was like, what's all the animosity? I thought it was dropped, da da da. And I'm like, it would have been had I not known the girl that I just took from Miami to Tampa was trying to fight me. It would have been cool if it was just Yana because girl, I don't have to take you nowhere. But I could have left you there if had I known you was doing all that the night before. You don't bite the hand that feeds you. And literally you could have been stuck in Miami somewhere. So, but um, so yeah, so, I took the girl and she was like, um, we were literally in a whole car ride for this amount of hours. And then, mind y'all, I did not know what she said. I didn't know what she said until we did a recap of it. So I'm like, I didn't, I didn't know what she said. So now that I know, what are you trying to do? Like again, say it for the third time. She didn't, she didn't want to do anything, so I left it alone. So we all get in the group chat again. And of course, y'all was going off with the mouth. She's like, y'all didn't have all this energy then. Da, da, da. Mind y'all, we had all the energy that night. Like I was drunk, so I know I had all the energy that night. So um, she's like, da -da -da, what's y'all A's? Da -da -da. I sent her my ID. We waited a whole day, y'all. A whole day and a half. Nobody pushed up, nobody did nothing. So it was just like, the girls, they were just, it was just a red, it was just so many red flags, especially, it started off with Yana not sending her money. Like, yo, if you ain't had the funds. Oh, I forgot a whole big part, y'all. Yana's friends, we had argued in the group chat before because she was trying to make it seem like we ain't had no money. And girl, let's be for real. She was trying to make it seem like we didn't have no money because we didn't want to go to the parties that they wanted to go to. Like I said, we go to parties in Winston. We wasn't out there for that. We wanted to be on yachts, this and this, this and this. They didn't want to pay for no yacht. So who really got the money who we don't, you know? Yeah, we had argued. So I just knew it was going to be a bad trip from there, but you know it is what it is we me and joshua we still had a good time my well, I man and his friends and the people we saw out there like we still had a great time i even met shape boss but i'm not gonna talk about that he didn't follow me so but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this story time if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you know who you're going to miami with or any trip in general with like i know i can go on a trip with my homegirl joshua now because that was our first trip together and it went smooth. So we went to Tennessee together after that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and let me know if you want more story times. Cause of course I got them in the vault. I'm just waiting to pull them out when y'all, you know, put me on some subscribers. But yeah, see you guys in my next video. And thank you guys so much for 5,500.
Y'all, everybody told us we should have left them there. Literally, everybody told us when we told them what was happening, what was going on, they said, y'all too nice for me. And mind you, they were my so-called friends. So really, Kayla, you too nice. So, but yeah, never again, y'all. I also forgot to mention that one of the nights we wasn't there, it was my man's BB. They let some girl, some random girl, sleep in our bed. The bed we paid for. Didn't say nothing to us about it. Mind you, not a big deal. But again, let me know. Okay, that's it. Personality, everything you do, me love, everything about you.